become a Notebook LM power user. Here's how. Today I'm going to show you how to become a total Notebook LM power user. This thing just got a massive upgrade and nobody's talking about the best features. I'm going to walk you through every single feature that actually matters. You're going to learn tricks that will save you hours every single week. This is the easiest AI tool you'll ever use and it's completely free. By the end of this video, you'll know more about Notebook LM than 99% of people using it. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency, Goldie Agency. Whilst he's helping clients get more leads and customers, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you comment below. So let's talk about Notebook LM. This tool is from Google, and it's one of the most powerful AI tools that most people are sleeping on. The basic idea is simple. You upload your documents, your research, your notes, whatever you have, and Notebook LM helps you understand it all. But here's where it gets crazy. Most people are using maybe 10% of what this tool can actually do. I'm going to show you exactly how I use Notebook LM to run my business. I'm talking about real examples from the AI Profit Boardroom, real prompts that actually work, real automation that saves hours of time. This isn't theory, this is what's working right now. First thing you need to know is how to set up your notebook the right way. When you open Notebook LM, you create a new notebook. Simple. But here's what most people mess up. They just dump everything into one notebook and wonder why they can't find anything later. Don't do that. Create separate notebooks for different projects. One notebook for your marketing research, one for your customer data, one for your product development. Keep it organized from day one. Now let's talk about uploading sources. You can upload PDFs, Google Docs, text files, even paste in URLs. Notebook LM will read everything and understand it. But here's the trick. Don't upload 50 documents at once. Start with your most important documents first, upload them one by one. This way you can see exactly what Notebook LM is pulling from each source. You stay in control. I use this all the time for the AI Profit Boardroom. Let's say I'm planning new content about AI automation. I'll upload research about the latest AI tools. I'll upload case studies from successful automation projects. I'll upload competitor analysis. Everything goes into one notebook. Then I can ask Notebook LM anything about that research and it gives me answers instantly. Here's something most people don't know. You can upload up to 50 sources per notebook, 50. That's insane. You can basically upload your entire knowledge base and have AI understand all of it. Think about what that means for your business. Every sales call, transcript, every customer feedback form, every marketing report, all in one place, all searchable, all ready to give you insights. Now, if you wanna dive even deeper into AI automation, I've got something special for you. I run a community called the AI Profit Boardroom, the best place to scale your business, get more customers and save hundreds with AI automation. Learn how to save time and automate your business with AI tools like Notebook LM. The link is in the comments and description. It's at school.com slash AI Profit Lab. Now let me show you the real power. The chat feature, this is where Notebook LM becomes your research assistant. You can ask it questions about your sources and it answers based only on what you uploaded. It's not making stuff up. It's not pulling from the internet. It's only using your documents. This is huge for accuracy. Let me give you a real example. Let's say I upload all my AI Profit Boardroom member feedback from the last month. Then I ask Notebook LM, what are the top three problems our members are facing with AI automation? It reads through everything and gives me a summary with direct quotes from the actual feedback. It even tells me which source each quote came from. I can verify everything. Or let's say I'm creating a new landing page for the AI Profit Boardroom. I upload successful landing pages from other communities. I upload copywriting frameworks. I upload our value propositions. Then I ask Notebook LM, based on these examples, what are the key elements of a high converting landing page for an AI automation community? It analyzes everything and gives me a breakdown. It shows me patterns across all the successful examples. It highlights what works. Like here's another way I use it. When I'm preparing content about a new AI tool, I upload the tool's documentation. I upload tutorial articles about it. I upload case studies of people using it. Then I ask Notebook LM to explain the tool like I'm teaching it to beginners. It simplifies everything. It removes the technical jargon. It gives me the key points in plain English. This saves me hours of research time. The chat feature also has source citations. Every answer Notebook LM gives you includes little numbers. Those numbers link directly to the specific part of your source documents where it found that information. You can click them and see the original text. 
This means you can fact check everything instantly. No more wondering if the AI is making things up. You have proof right there. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. The note taking feature. While you're chatting with Notebook LM, you can save important responses as notes. Just click the pin icon and that response gets saved to your notebook. You're building a knowledge base as you work, all your best insights in one place, all your best prompts saved for later. I do this constantly when I find a great way to phrase a question that gets me really useful answers, I save it. When Notebook LM gives me a perfect summary of something complicated, I save it. Over time, you build up this library of insights that you can reference anytime. It's like having a second brain. Let me talk about the suggested questions feature. After you upload sources, Notebook LM automatically suggests questions you might wanna ask. These suggestions are actually really good. They help you think about your sources in new ways. Sometimes I'll see a suggested question and realize there's an angle I hadn't considered. It's like having a research partner who's really good at asking the right questions. And here's something cool. You can edit and refine your questions based on the answers you get. Let's say I ask, what are the main benefits of AI automation for small businesses? Notebook LM gives me an answer. But then I can follow up and say, now focus specifically on time-saving benefits with real numbers. It remembers the context. It builds on the previous answer. You can have a real conversation. Now we need to talk about the study guide feature. This is insane. You click one button and Notebook LM creates an entire study guide from your sources. It gives you key topics. It gives you definitions. It gives you important quotes. It's like having a personal tutor who read everything and made you a custom study guide. I use this when I need to quickly understand a new topic. Let's say there's a new AI tool everyone's talking about. I find five good articles about it. I upload them to Notebook LM. I generate a study guide, boom. Uh, in two minutes, I have a complete overview of what the tool does, how it works, and why it matters. That's the kind of efficiency that lets you stay ahead. There's also a FAQ feature. Notebook LM looks at your sources and creates frequently asked questions with answers. This is perfect for customer research. Upload your customer support tickets, generate an FAQ. Now you know exactly what questions your customers are actually asking. You can use this to improve your product. You can use this to create better content. You can use this to train your team. For the AI Profit Boardroom, I did exactly this. I uploaded member questions from our community. I generated an FAQ. It showed me the patterns. It showed me what people struggle with most. Then I created targeted content to answer those exact questions. The result, better member satisfaction, more value delivered, happier community. Let me show you another powerful use case, competitive research. You can upload competitor websites. You can upload their marketing materials. You can upload industry reports. Then you ask Notebook LM to compare and contrast different approaches. It shows you what your competitors are doing right. It shows you gaps in the market. It shows you opportunities. Here's a prompt I use. Based on these competitor landing pages, what unique value propositions is each company emphasizing and what opportunities exist for differentiation? Notebook LM analyzes everything. It breaks down each competitor's positioning. It highlights what nobody else is saying. That's your opportunity. That's where you can stand out. Right? The timeline feature is also really useful. If your sources have dates, Notebook LM can create a timeline of events. This is perfect for understanding how things evolved over time. Let's say you're tracking AI tool releases, upload news articles from the past year, generate a timeline. Now you can see the progression. You can see trends. You can predict what might come next. Now, if you wanna dive even deeper into AI automation, I've got something special for you. I run a community called the AI Profit Boardroom, the best place to scale your business, get more customers and save hundreds with AI automation. Learn how to save time and automate your business with AI tools like Notebook LM. And if you want the full process, SOPs, and 100 plus AI use cases like this one, join the AI Success Lab. You'll get all the video notes from there, plus access to our community of 40,000 members who are crushing it with AI. The link is in the comments and description. It's at school.com slash AI Profit Lab.